Now let's have a look at our cash transactions. But first, let's have a look at the accounting equation. Now if you can remember, the accounting equation is assets is equal to owner's equity plus liabilities. Now if our asset increases, then we will record this on the debit side. But if it decreases, we will record it on the credit side. On our owner's equity side, if we have expenses or drawings, if that increases, we would record it on the debit side. And if that decreases, we will record it on the credit side. The second leg of our owner's equity will be our income or capital. Now, if our income or capital increases, then we would record this on the credit side. And if it decreases, then we will record it on the debit side. And lastly, for our liabilities, if our liabilities were to increase, then we would record it on the credit side. And if our liabilities decreases, then we will record that on the debit side. Now, what are cash transactions? Our cash transactions are transactions that involve legal transfer of money in the form of cash, an EFT payment, which stands for electronic fund transfer, bank deposit, debit card, or a credit card receipt from one party to another, which means it can be either from business to business or from individual to business or from business to individual. And all of these transactions will be either cash or bank. Now from the list that we have just covered, if we were to allocate these between cash or bank, only one item will be recorded as cash. The rest of them will fall under bank. They can be recorded on the debit side or on the credit side. So cash can be recorded on the debit side as well as the credit side. The same goes for every other transaction. Now according to the double entry principle, there should be two accounts and one account should be on the debit side and the other account should be on the credit side with the same amount. Now both cash and bank accounts are represented in the cash book. In our general ledger we will have a separate account for cash and a separate account for our bank but both of them are represented in the cash book because on the debit side of the cash book you will have cash and bank all the money that is received will come on the debit side of the cash book and all the money that is paid out will come on the credit side of the cash book. Our cash book increases when we receive money and then we will record that on the debit side. And if the cash book decreases it means that money is being paid out and it will be recorded on the credit side. Now let's have a look at the types of cash transactions. This one is where the owner is putting money into the business. Now at number one, the owner Adele Leakey transferred 20,000 into the business's bank account to increase her capital. Now we have three questions we need to ask ourselves. Question one, is there money changing from one party to another? Yes or no? Well in this instance the answer is yes because the owner is transferring money from herself to the business. Our second question is how did the business pay or receive money? Well this we can answer to say that Adele did a transfer from her bank account via EFT into the business's bank account. So it means the business received money through the bank. And then our final question is, why did the business pay or receive this money? Well, the answer for that is the business received money in the form of capital. So now that we answered all three questions, let's have a look at the example again. The owner 
Adele Leakey transferred 20000 into the business's bank account to increase her capital. Now, we need to identify two accounts. We can identify the bank account and also we can identify the account named capital. And now that we know that, we know that cash book will be part of this transaction because it's a cash transaction and cash transactions can either be cash or bank and the second account we identified was capital since the money was transferred into the business's bank account it should come in the bank column on the debit side so the 20,000 is recorded on the debit side of the cash book and if it's recorded on the debit side it means that the company has received money and, and to complete the double entry we will have an entry of bank of 20,000 on the credit side of capital.